with another gully washer about 10 o'clock Monday. We're getting ready to take Chris's car in the shop. Engine light came on, flashing lights came on, all kinds of lights came on. And then I got to pick up a bunch of knives and scissors. So I'll get back to you on all that in a few minutes. The engine light came on, the slippery non-skid road light came on, the cruise control light started flashing on and off. This was about two days after we filled it up with some Kroger gas. We don't normally use Kroger gas, but we had a, that picture I showed you with that big discount for $1.95. We figured we'd take advantage of it. Well, we don't know if it was gas related or not, but now at low speeds it really idles roughing. Almost like it wants to cut off. It's just at low speed idle. But it hadn't. It's just been dinging around. So we're going to put it in the shop today. We'll see how it goes. Well, we're almost home. We got This is the last stop. Get some stuff we need. It's unbelievable. The knives I just picked up. In round figures, I got 30. And I need to get one more stop for hedge trimmers and stuff. I think I got 15 from one lady, 8 from another, 4 from another. And I think that was it. Unbelievable. I gotta wait for my leader, I guess. It's a pile driver driving in pilings. Hear it? Let's start off with what we got first. We got eight hinkles from one lady. And then we sailed to the library and we got 15 from one lady. We got this set of Mustafs, this set of one hinkle, and some Chicago cutleries and some junkers. Then we picked up some industrial scissors. And then we picked up one big cut go, and I can't for the life of me remember what the name of these knives are. I sharpen a lot of them. They're old, got aluminum handles on them, really thin kind of blade like fillet knives, you know what I mean? But I, I see a lot of them. I just can't remember the name. Everything is in relatively good shape. No nicks, no, no tips, no anything. They just need sharpening. Look at all that boxes I got. But I'm not done now. I gotta go pick up some his yard stuff. Stand by. And the uh, Tuesday is shaping up to be a nice knife day. Well, I'm back home. This is the last of it. We got two hedge trimmers, a pruner, a loper. And a big old machete. I don't say old, but a machete. Looks like it ought to be a fist guard, but I can't see it on there anywhere. He's in con bad condition. Up oh, this way. There's a lot of machetes off. I'm using my camera, my phone today, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's 4:30. I'm not doing a damn thing the rest of the day with knives, except. Well, I should I shouldn't say that. That's end. Stand by. Before we started this knife adventure this morning. My leader has got these all lined up now, and she wants me to get the rototiller out and till up all this area just to the left behind them. So that's my first project in the morning. Then she's going to remove every one of these. At the, she's going to take the middle ones out. She says she's got them too close together. So she's going to remove every second one. 
and spread them out some. Oh boy. I was going for a spin this afternoon. The tide's really low in about three hours. So I might make it. It all depends if the Momos man, he went this morning and I'm not going to add the results. He found a few few petties, a few a little bit of change in one bling ring, but only like 12 targets total. He could have really, really sanded in bad and soft if we were going to go down here on the bay to Mexican place, you know, what we call Gray Matter City. Take a spin this afternoon. So I'm going to try to do that, but I'm not positive it's going to happen. But I have plenty of time. Stand by, I'll give you some results. Well, it appears we're in for another gully washer. It's raining right now, but not very hard. And they put a gate up here on our beach. We had so many wild people that come through the neighborhood and park all over the streets, which I showed you before. Next, we'll have a padlock on here with an electronic gizmo to get in and out for just the residents. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you can go a quarter of a mile that way and a quarter of a mile that way or less and there's two entrances that aren't come on Jack we ain't going that way come on we gotta go it's a bad storm coming come on come on look at the rain and we're out here like crazy people come on big old Jack crazy I'm telling you my leader says come on come on what the hell do you think I'm doing I do have a beaver report. Just came in. A watch, a silver ring, and a junk ring, he said. If I can, there it is. That's a better picture of it there. Like a mood ring or something. Landonata. Not too bad. Let's see if there's anything else. That's, oh, that's Denny's nut from today. He said it was really sanded in bad, about like Beaver. Yep, Beaver had two more, one more ring and a watch, a junk watch, I should say. Okay, look, that's it.